Dilemma. You see, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I want to make something special for my wife. But I don't know what to make. I mean, I could make, uh, I could make a CD, or I could make a balloon sculpture. No, maybe a sandcastle. No, I don't know what to make. I could make pottery. Pottery. I'm Waikit. I'm Moni. Welcome to Kaleko. Lovely to meet you. Listen, I need a favor. Okay, I want to make something for my wife for Valentine's Day, and I'm not sure what to make. Do you have any ideas for me? I'd love to help you. Shall we go? Excellent. Okay, so you have some interesting designs here, and I can see there's four different types of cupfish. Yeah. Um, what's the process of doing pottery, and how does it become this? Good question. That there are four steps in pottery making, and the first step we actually make the item first. Of course, we need to mold it and shape it and make it into this form. And then once you have finished this, you actually need to dry for about a day. Okay. And then we need to put it into a special oven mm. called kiln, mm. and we need to actually bake it for twenty four hours. So up long. To nine hundred and fifty degrees Celsius. Ah, that's very yes. hot. And that's when it becomes ceramic ware. So this one you can't yeah, bend anymore. Yes, cannot bend anymore. So okay. comes step three. We actually need to paint it on to make it more colourful. Mm. So that's when you can actually paint a different colour. Mm. So after the painting, we still need to do the step four. And you need to put it into the kiln to fire it the second time. Mm. And up to 1,200 degrees Celsius. And that's your final work. Yeah. And it becomes like this? Yes. Hi children, good afternoon. Today we're going to have a special guest. Can you all say he hello to Waikit please? Hello. hello! Hi! Today the children are going to show you the four methods in pottery making here. This is pinching technique whereby you just need to use your hand and do twinkle twinkle little star. Another technique will be slab building. Slab building you'll be noticing Tingyi here, she's, that's what she's doing now. She has to use the ruler to control the thickness of the clay here. Alright, and then using the rolling pin and actually roll out the clay itself. The next method we're going to introduce to you is coiling technique and that's what Ethan is doing now. He's actually rolling the coil and once he's about as thick as his thumb, that's when he stops and he has to add a layer to build his teapot. The next technique I'm going to show you is hollowing technique and this is what Darius and Dashini is doing now. They have a clay that has been shaped to a something semi-circle and they are now hollowing out to make the body of an animal shaped bowl. Wow, that was really interesting. Yeah. Now that you see the four methods in pottery making, are you ready to try? Absolutely. For the first start, of course, we need to portion the clay first. And I'll need you to cut them out using the cutter tool. So it's important we get the shapes and size the same, so which is why we have a mold for you to do that. Now to add the four pieces together, there's a technique called scoring whereby you need to actually make crisscrosses on the clay itself. The reason we are doing this is to make sure that the surface is rough so when we add the clay together, it sticks. Okay. Now that you score everything, the next step is to apply slip. Basically, it's made of very soft clay. It acts like the glue. Now we need to construct it together. The trick is you just need to follow where the slip are and then you just need to add it on. Well, 
I'm almost done with my Valentine's gift. I just need to heat it up and that's going to take a while. But in the meantime, I just want to thank you, Teacher Moni, for showing me how to make pottery. It's been a lot of fun and uh, thank you for teaching me. Welcome. I hope you have a good time here. Now, if you want to find out more about um, uh, Clay Cove and the pottery, you can log on to our website and check it out there. But in the meantime, I'll still be here decorating my Valentine's gift. See you back in the studio. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm gonna put you aside and use my bowl, and then this goes here. Yeah, it's a lovely bird. What are you doing? Well, what? Uh, I'm just rearranging my table with my pottery I made. Look, I made a pot that says the white kit, and I made this lovely little vase thing for my wife. See, there's a pie there because we I call each other pie. Yes, and flamingos. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Oh, wow, are you sure? I know they're really nice, but you sure they're appropriate for fine dining? Absolutely. This is fine art. Fine dining, both are fine.